Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Disjunction, where a huge mystery has been revealed to us, guys. We've watched as Frank, Joe, and Spider have been chasing three individual people on their missions. And in the last episode, Spider found out that all three of these people are one and the same. And that person is based at Bishop Krauss, which makes a lot of sense. Causing all of these gang wars and all this chaos in the city is basically swaying public opinion to be for the proposal for Bishop Krauss to actually start outfitting the NYPD. So they're actually creating the ideal circumstance for this contract to actually happen. But um, our heroes, and I use that term loosely, have uh, pretty much discovered that conspiracy, and now we have to try and stop it. So we are taking control of Frank here. Let's go ahead and talk to Wu and see what happens here. How are you faring, detective? Well, I was hoping I could ask you a few questions. Right to the point. Well, perhaps I can provide you with satisfactory answers. What would you like to know? What exactly do you make of this conspiracy involving Bishop Krauss? Manipulating criminal syndicates into warring with each other is one thing. But even more impressive is mass-producing chard and getting it out onto the streets while keeping its source obfuscated from prying eyes. If Bishop Krauss truly is capable of both, their influence goes beyond what I would have imagined. Well, when an operation has this many moving parts, it's only a matter of time before there's a leak. So it would seem. Yet despite what the three of you have uncovered, there's still quite a bit of work to be done. Be careful how you proceed. No doubt Bishop Krauss is ready to do some damage control. Eh, whatever resources they devote to damage control won't be enough. I hope you're right. Was there something else? Yeah, you and Joe seem to have a history. What's the story there? He used to work for me. Yeah. What kind of work? Not the kind he'd want to talk about. You have to understand, when Joe lost his job during the collapse, his options were extremely limited. But I offered him a position into my organization, and ultimately he accepted. Hiring someone from outside of Chinatown as muscle for the thongs? Isn't that a bit unusual? Traditionally, yes, but exceptions have been made in the past. Joe is ex-military, and he's got a good eye for spotting danger. He was more than qualified for the job. Ex-military, huh? Well, I guess that explains the prosthetics. That's right. Standard replacements for soldiers wounded in battle, though he's had some upgrades since then. So what made Joe move on, exactly? An arms dealer by the name of Lorenzo double-crossed him and sold him out to the police during a job gone wrong. Joe spent three years in prison as a result. Hmm. I guess that'd make anyone consider a career change. Whatever the reason, Joe left that part of his life behind after being released. My hope now is that his daughter's murder doesn't drive him to do something he'll regret. Well, I'll help him get answers, but we have to go about it the right way. I'd rather avoid any unnecessary bloodshed. Yeah, Frank of all people is the one who hasn't killed anyone yet. Well, perhaps time will tell what's best for him. But enough of that for now. We should talk about your current mission. Well, if you got any advice for me, I'm all ears. Given all that's been happening, I think you can expect heavy resistance. The station on the border of Central City is equipped with some serious hardware, and there's too much at stake right now for the NYPD to cut down on security. Well, nothing would surprise me at this point. I'll try to be ready for anything. I'm sure I don't have to tell you to keep the casualties to a minimum. Whatever it is you're trying to do for your friend, I suspect a pile of dead police officers won't help it along. Don't worry. I'll be discreet. Of course you will, detective. Take care of yourself. Okay. I like to say Joe's kind of the conscience of the group, in a way. I don't know. It's more of a Shelbyville idea. Monorail to the police station. Alright. Yep, 
Now, are we actually going to see... Oh, and look at that. Our last upgrade. Hmm. Increase the radius of the smoke grenade. That actually makes perfect sense. And 25. Increase the time it takes for enemies to detect Frank by 0.2... Increase the attack speed of Frank's tactical baton by 20. Oh, both of those are really good. Increase Frank's chance of finding energy pickups by 50%. So maybe... Let's try that. We've, we've made Frank a little bit slower. But... Um... The speed of the baton is at 20 Well, actually, I don't think we really need that, do we? The stun duration? No? Let's try that. Let's increase the time it takes for enemies to detect Frank. We haven't had any real issues with the... Uh... And, yeah, we'll increase the attack speed of the revolver. Why not? We had five to, bur five to burn there. Don't really intend to use it. I've kept the, uh, I have, uh, resisted pressing the right click for many reasons. I hear someone doing a patrol. Alright. So these look like, uh, bulletproof vest wearing detectives. Good. See, we're still... We're still, like, really fast with our attack speed. So I think we're good. We still have the... Okay, this is similar to the prison. Got cells and other places we can hide, which is good. Let's head to the left here. Yeah, I hear ya. I'm not happy about it either. Here, let's go ahead and move you into the shadows. Oh. Well, that didn't work. Boo. That was one of those times where the mouse actually got me. I was swinging, but my mouse was up here, so I wasn't shooting the right people. I wasn't hitting the right people. Oh, Lord. How did I pull that off? Don't get me wrong, I'll take it. Well, left we go. One more time. Whoa. That's better. Wonder how Frank's actually going to deal with these mechs. Actually, fairly easy if we can just stun them. Nothing up there. I kind of don't even want to go into one of the cells because I feel like suddenly the doors will close. That's really all that needs to be done. in there having a briefing. Cup of coffee. Okay, unfortunately everyone has now been alerted that there's something amiss because people just don't suddenly become knocked out. Ooh. Oh, they're kind of in the same... See that right there? Making sure that we it takes longer for them to detect us. That just saved our lives. Very much so. A 
Oh, head up here, friend. Here, I'll just do that. Okay. It's time to check. Oh! We're fine. We can stun the mechs. We're in good shape. So, I assume... There's nothing of particular... Need. Over here, but we're gonna check anyway. Good thing I waited. Whoops. You were not in line of sight. A waste of energy. Fortunately, we got energy down here to spare. Let's wait for them. So far, so good. And... You're gonna be that guy, aren't you? Just need to see if there is any kind of lore. Alright, so we know to avoid this section in the unfortunate event that we die. Which hopefully won't be the case. And I know I did go in there. Fortunately, the doors did not close. I've had that happen in some RPGs. It's like a really good plot device because you don't see it coming, but... Oh, okay. Upgrade kit is on the second floor. Ooh. Now, the entire reason Frank is doing this is because he's still trying to uh, prove Lamar's innocence. Because when all of this kind of blows up, basically, the city's going to need some strong leaders. And Lamar, being on a murder charge for killing a cop, not exactly ideal. Yeah, bu -bu -bu -bu. Aha! <laughs> just, just as I planned. It's like I wonder if there would be like some prison, um, some good items there in the cells, and we'd have to find specific keys—not card keys, but like the right cell key. That'd be an interesting kind of mechanic. Oh, speaking of keys. Maybe a good time to throw a grenade. Can I go ahead and pick that up? No? Well, fine. Be that way. Let's go ahead and do it like this. I mean, it's, it's, it still worked. It wasn't nearly as impressive as I wanted it to be. Alright, thank you, health. Looks like the door is on the next kind of level. That seems to be a good spot for a knockout. No lore, just concussions. Yeah, what happened? It's almost like there's a detective here who knows all of your procedures. The fact that it just costs one to use that stun is so nice. Oh, here's some more. Monitor the activities of American citizens. 
though surveillance, both targeted and untargeted, continues to be a subject of much debate among academics and government officials alike, the ability of law enforcement agencies to police the streets and collect evidence is greatly enhanced by the presence of surveillance drones, closed-circuit television cameras, and similar equipment. Drones in particular are proven to be exceptionally useful for gathering visual imagery of criminal activities and crime hotspots and other dangerous neighborhoods. These fully automated aerial vehicles use advanced machine learning algorithms to maximize the efficiency of their patrol routes, and they come equipped with live feed video cameras, infrared cameras, audio recorders, heat sensors, and radar. Any data they collect is transmitted to the proper authorities at nearby monitoring facilities and can be analyzed by experts in real time. Despite its controversial nature, the use of drone surveillance has steadily grown since its introduction in the early 2010s, particularly in densely populated urban areas like New York City. Drone coverage in the streets of New York City has increased by 12% over the last past year alone. While crime may still be on the rise, the New York Police Department was able to make roughly 28,000 more arrests than last year thanks to the added surveillance. The benefits of these drone systems are numerous, but while the five boroughs are closely monitored by law enforcement agencies, Central City is largely free of any modern surveillance. Due to Central City's autonomy, the NYPD is not legally permitted to establish a drone presence there, which can sometimes be a problem when criminals hide within the shantytown's borders. Recent statistics suggest... Yeah, drones are the new... the new normal for a lot of folk. And not just uh, in law enforcement, also in the military. Gamers are doing some of the fighting now. Alright, second floor. Oh, this is a... Okay. This one's going to be tough, I think. Yeah. What did I say? There are mighty three health and our blood spray all on the floor. We're still alive, though. So we'll see how far the rabbit hole goes. Still good? So they can detect when their friends get hit with the tase, which, you know, makes sense. Like, why are you conversing like that, or <laughs> convulsing like that, Joe? Not our Joe, but another Joe. So does this lead... Okay, it does lead somewhere else. All links up in the same location. Good. I'm glad that turret keeps on moving. Ah, I was hoping you were going to be in the range there, friend. Okay, we got our Batman on, to great effect. And our healing on, to even greater effect. We'll hide behind the water cooler. That'll do. clean. Whew. Okay, we've got an item. Still looking for that upgrade kit. It's here on this floor. Bum, 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 bum. Oh. Oh, crap. I should have dropped a smoke grenade right there. A panics? Well, we know which way we're going, at least. There's progress of a sort. There. 
See, we didn't have to do anything extreme, right? We just had to... Oh wait, this is the Batman room, isn't it? Do we need to continue on? You know what, let's just go ahead and sneak through here. We haven't taken any damage yet, so... There's our upgrade kit. Oh, crap. Ooh. I was not expecting you to come up here, sir. Uh-huh. Oh, security camera. Okay, let's wait for you to... I do not want to alert everyone on this floor. That would be, uh... That would be a bit unpleasant, I would think. Speaking of unpleasant... What was that? Nothing. That shock does do a bit of damage. Oh, hello there. Looking good. So, I am going to make a... We cleared that area, didn't we? Yeah, there was nothing there. So, we got the upgrade kit. Everything we need to grab. No, uh... A surprising lack... Of key cards. Which I am... Quite happy about. Crap. Oh. Did I just dual wield knock them out? Holy, okay. Well then. That, I don't think you're going to get much better than that. There's where we need a key card. There, there is at least one each floor. And looks like. Bam. Anything in this cell we need to be aware of? No health kit? Oh, yeah, the health kit was. over there. But now we have to be very careful. Look at all this pandemonium. Take it. I will take it. Do we need to clear the room, though, is the question. Oh, you didn't notice that until just now. I see, I see. Now, one thing I do need to realize, and you guys are probably asking the question, Wretch, why aren't you using Frank's first aid ability? Well, that's because I forgot. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be able to, actually, this is the info that we need right here. Yeah, this is the terminal that Bishop Krause used to communicate with the police chief of this precinct. It's not even encrypted. The NYPD is somehow even sloppier than when I used to work there. Oh, Christ. I can't believe this. Not only was Lamar framed by the cops, but Samuel Lewis was deliberately set up by the chief to be ambushed and killed by Bishop Krause. Lamar and Lewis were both good men. Neither of them deserved this. I better get out of here. Now, that might be something that actually pushes Frank to kill. I mean, you can... If they are able to basically organize a... 
a cop's murder and blame it on someone, I mean, it's not exactly people you need to leave alive, I would feel. Uh, probably Frank would feel very similar. I bet it calls Sybil. Anyone in here? Okay, just wanted to check and make sure there wasn't an attack team. This is Sybil. Yeah, it's Frank, guy. I have news. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What is it? I broke into the police station on the border with Central City. The NYPD frame, framed Lamar. The NYPD? Those fucking pigs. I should have known they'd be behind this. There's more. Look, it's a long story, but Bishop Krauss is behind all of this. They've been working with the NYPD from the very beginning. Bishop Krauss, but what do they have to do with Lamar? We've never interacted with them at all. What do we do now? Look, I'm going to transmit the evidence I found at the police station over to you. It's not safe with me right now. Thanks, Frank. I'm not sure I'll ever be able to repay you for everything you've done. It'll all be worth it if Lamar gets free. I better get some sleep. I wonder how Joe and Spider are doing. I guess we're about to transition over to them because everyone has their own little kind of individual missions, but it looks like Frank did a good job, all things considered. Hopefully Sybil isn't in on the conspiracy because that would suck quite a bit. Um, Increase the damage of the pulse. Increase the radius by 25 and increase its duration by one second. That would be better. This is where it gets actually difficult for us to find the best situation. Let's go the attack speed, movement speed while running, movement speed while sneaking, energy by two, right there. Um, and I guess we can do that. But if we take that one down, increase the chance of... Actually, no, I think we're good with Sp Spider. Let's do... And still gives us 10 to work with. But then if we break up something else here, we could take something all the way up to the final tier. But that's good. Let's increase our speed just a little bit and see what happens. Alright, so we need to find the building security console where basically what we're needing to do is Spider has to tear down all the firewalls and defensive dead fences of the Bishop uh, Krauss facility before Joe can start, you know, crashing and bashing his way through. And I think this is a perfect place to go ahead and end the episode, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. I still am. I'm still enjoying it. The gameplay is, is very, very fun. But um, if you guys like the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.